Uh, hello everyone, welcome to day two of NaNoWriMo. Um, last night I spent the evening playing The Sims, but, but also brainstorming. There's sort of like this subplot going on to do with rebels, people are trying to take over and overthrow the current regime, which is the Queen's, and sort of bring back the old regime, which is the first king of Isidona. So there's people trying to bring that back, bring back the king, bring back his ideals, etc, etc. At the moment, it's sort of very subplotted, like they discover these things, all of the characters discover this as they go along through the novel, and then it becomes more obvious towards the end what is going on. Please ignore the daughter singing. So I think what I need to do is sort of bring that aspect more to the forefront, make it more part of the actual plot than it already is. I mean, the main character is being hunted by someone who works for these people. But, you know, that's very much a secret until the end. Sort of like to keep the whole, oh my God, is this person sort of behind the scenes of it all? But I think I need to, hmm, I need to somehow bring something to the forefront at the beginning and sort of weave it into the first couple of chapters to sort of give that interesting hint to sort of make it less boring. So that's not a job for now, that's a job for once I've finished 100,000 words or I've finished the novel but still have words to hit 100,000 left. Failing that it can wait till revision. I'm writing everything down in my notebook here. Um, of things that I need to sort out, change, add as I go along so I have notes on what I want to do and where I need to do them. It is 9.15 in the morning, I'm going to do some writing sprints now. I figure if I do three that will get me more or less 3,000 words and then I can just plod along and do the rest during all the naps. So yeah, got my tea, I am still tired and let's get started. Red alert guys, I'm pantsing. This was not the plan. I sort of forgot that as I was outlining, I didn't go back and fill in the gaps between all of the like snapshots I was coming up with for each of the chapters. Was, yeah, yeah, whoopsie daisy. I had the first bit of the chapter, which is like the first snapshot of the beginning. And uh, then it sort of skips until further on in the chapter after some stuff happens to me outlining the next part of the chapter and then I have a line which says they talk but I don't know about what or why <sighs> did not want to pants this nanobimo and it's day two and I have already failed miserably in that aspect. This is going to be a fun day. Right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's bring out the writing sprints. struggling because I'm not enjoying this story right now because all of this setup is boring me because nothing interesting is happening and I really really just want to skip to something else that will interest me more but I don't want to do that because I don't want to miss foreshadowing that I would have set up I'm trying my best not to skip around I want to go in order it's not working for me right now Got two loud girls in the background, which don't help. ASMR did not help. I. How is it day two and I'm already struggling this badly? It's not that I'm not even bothered to write. It's just that I don't want to write even worse crap than I've already written. So I'm on the scene where the main character has just found out that her childhood to growing up lady in waiting has been reassigned so she's not there anymore and she was like the person that, that the main character trusts most in the world like she can be sort of be herself around this person where she can't be herself around everyone else so she's she's upset and she's just found this out and 
and then she's getting then she's packing to go somewhere and then and then I get to a sort of bit that I know what I'm doing and then she has a chat with her grandmother and and then I don't know how the chapter ends because I didn't outline that so when I said yesterday chapter three is gonna be easy I lied and it's even worse because chapter four hasn't got an outline on it at all whatsoever there's nothing there I did not outline chapter four except for all I know is that chapter four is them traveling so that's going to be fun I'm going through realizing that I haven't outlined chapter 16 or chapter 18 or chapter 25 33 37 38 40 41 42 or 43 so <laughs> I'm planting this Nanarino, it seems, instead of planning like I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, let's try and get back to work. I think I've done 616 words in an hour and a half. Because I'm, I keep getting distracted because what I'm writing is just so dull. And I, um, I need to hit, I need to hit a thousand words in reality by 11 o'clock and then by one o'clock I need another thousand and then by three o'clock I need the third thousand so 1,000 words every two hours is my aim at the moment so I do not have to write late after I get home from work that is the plan can we do the plan I don't know if we can do the plan let's get some more tea and we'll try and do the plan all I can do is try and not fail but try 1,005 um, words in 2 hours and 45 minutes that is diabolically awful what is wrong with me today I know exactly what's wrong with me today and I can't fix it I'm 45 minutes behind my self-imposed schedule of 1,000 words every 2 hours I now have 1 hour to write 1,000 words and I'm seriously tempted to move on from this chapter and do a different chapter instead. But then at that same point, I don't want to skip chapters because then that will leave me the boring chapters to do, you know, later on in NaNoWriMo, which I don't know why you've only got half my face in this shot, but that's just, that's just what it is right now, okay? Yeah, I don't want to leave the boring bits to last, to the end. But maybe writing more interesting things will get me inspired to write the boring bits at the end. I don't know how I want to play it. I don't want to struggle when I get near 100,000 words, but I don't want to struggle now. I just don't want to struggle. Well, I'll see how this next hour goes and how we do. And then I suppose if I've not written that much, I'll move on to a, a chapter that I've actually outlined properly. And uh, I'll sort it out then. It's just so difficult. I wasn't expecting this until day 10. It's eight days early and I'm not liking that at all. At all. It is one o'clock. I have written 1,704 words. So I've just passed the standard Nanarimo word count, which for one o'clock is not entirely terrible. I wanted to be at 2,000 words. I'm close. I've done chapter three. Once the conversation got going, it was a little bit easier to sort of get the word count. I still have no idea what the conversation is for. I'm trying to set some stuff up for character arcs and that, but again, it's not outlined as it should be. So, you see my face going dark and light in here. So, it's sort of just like rambles. It'll, it'll do. It will do. I don't really want to go on to chapter four because chapter four has no outline whatsoever. So, I might just skip to chapter five, which does have an outline which is where I introduce a couple of new characters, uh, two of the people that are going to be traveling with the main character on her journey, which I'm very happy about because I love those two characters. I can't wait to write them. That's my, I don't have tea right now. I have a bunny cup for the rest of these two hours is get that last 1,664 words done. I might have to word sprint it. I said I was going to word sprint earlier. I haven't actually been doing it because my mind just went blank. I will actually do word sprints now. Hopefully get that last little bit in before I have to get ready for work because I want a NaNoWriMo free evening. This is harder than I thought it would be. You'd better.
Okay, it's 20 past oh. two. I have run out of tea and I have written... Oh, only 927 words. Today is proving extremely difficult. Yes! <laughs> yes! I did it! I did it! I did it! Success! Three minutes past three. Three thousand four hundred and eleven words. Thank freaking God. Thank God. I'm pleased with that. So very pleased. We're pleased, people. We are pleased. It got better once I was able to not write in a thought or travelling or exposition and was just writing, you know, random dialogue. It worked and I managed to finish and that was so horrible and hopefully now that is the end of this boredom crap that I have been writing and everything will come a lot easier now. Update progress! Yes! Updated! I'm done for the day! Somehow earlier than I was yesterday and I didn't struggle as much yesterday as I did today. Except that last little bit obviously where I did not struggle. How do I look at my... I found the graph. It didn't update to the graph but I found the graph. Look at my pretty graph. Look at it. I am on track and I'm so happy and let's never have that much trouble again. I'm going to say that every single session that I have trouble, which is going to be every single day until the end of November. I did it! It is after work. I'm back from work. Uh, husband is having a D&D &D sesh in the living room and they've gone outside so I have a few seconds <laughs> to record this. After I updated my bullet journal I sort of just rushed to get ready and leave the house because I was sort of late getting to work. <laughs> we, 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 we managed to hit our goal so that's the uh, it's it's there somewhere. We hit the goal that's the important thing. I don't want to struggle like that again tomorrow. Hopefully we won't. I, I need to do some outlining tonight. <laughs> I, w I don't want to spend my evenings doing anything NaNoWriMo related, but I'm spending my evenings at the moment doing nothing but NaNoWriMo related stuff. So hopefully that will change in the future. I'm, I'm going to go get to work doing what I need to do, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.